Wassa Region Chamber of Commerce, we congratulate you on the expansion of the new Early Literacy Center. We recognize the value of the services you offer to this community. We encourage you to engage in the many resources of the Chamber and with the business members who contribute to the growth of the Wassa community. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Judy. Now, we have to listen, Ralph. <laughs> It's okay, everybody. I can do this. Keep your fingers Okay, are you ready? Hang on. Don't cut. Don't okay, cut. I'll wait. Okay, we should be good. Are you good, Ryan? Yep. So, ready? Whenever they're ready, we can do it. Okay. Go ahead. Here I go. Here you go. Oh, man. Thanks again, everybody. All right, so Ralph, uh, just exactly how big of a deal is this for, uh, for Wausau and for Marathon County? Sure. Well, this is a really big deal for the area, for Wausau, uh, and for the county, of course, because what we're trying to do is we're trying to build right now on the future so that the youngsters who are just coming uh, into the world now have the opportunity to really excel when it's time to learn how to read and have those fundamental basics down so that their brain development and their learning is on time and on key. So then what exactly is going to be available in this uh, Early Childhood Literacy Center? Sure, well, what we have in the Early Literacy Center is a, um, a group of different skill set builders that include uh, opportunities for children to learn their uh, build on their motor skills, to build on their understanding of colors, shapes, sizes, all of the things that are fundamental to get them ready so that they are ready to read when the time is appropriate. And this also includes a lot of tips for caregivers and parents so that they can better utilize the resources here and in their own homes to help get those kids ready to read. So then, uh, you're, obviously this is an addition to the, the childhood wing here at the library. Are some of these resources maybe things that hadn't been available here at the library before that are just being added? Right, that, that's a good question. So we do have some very new resources that are specifically geared to build those skill sets for the children as they're preparing to learn how to read. And that's what we filled this new literacy center with, as well as early reading materials. So we're, we're getting them started right from birth. Birth through five is when the magic happens, and we want to make sure that we've got resources to help make that. So then, uh, how important is it then for parents to be taking advantage of this uh, of this opportunity here? You've kind of touched on it already, but just oh, elaborate. Oh, sure, very yeah. much. Well, uh, not everybody has access to all the resources they might need, and what we wanted to do is augment them or offer them to folks who might not have those opportunities at home. Uh, parents can always come in, take a look at what we have, and build their own uh, resources at home as well. But what we wanted to do is have really good fundamentals here to help make that happen so these kids are ready to go. When they get ready for pre-K and kindergarten, we want them ready to read. We do not want them falling behind. That's a part of what's important. And then that uh, leads me to my next question. How do parents take advantage of the, of the resources here at this new wing? Sure. If they want to take advantage of the resources we have here, they need to walk in the front door and walk right in and help themselves. All right. Anything else we should know about this uh, today then? Uh, we just want to make sure and uh, recognize that this was done through the generosity of three very important funding entities. The uh, community foundation of north central wisconsin the uh, early wausau early birds rotary club and the marathon county public libraries foundation all three were critical in getting this done and just one more quick question i know uh you're going to have some kind of rotating themes in this in this area here as well could you talk about that a little bit sure well we've got a youth services team that is really really excited about having this they're very creative and what they like to do is make themes uh, that are timely based on what time of the year it is and what else is going on in the uh, in the community so uh, we're just looking forward to the chance to get the interest of the kids in, and their parents in what's going on, and they will be uh, rotating some really cool uh, different kinds of displays and themes in this. It's going to be a really neat thing. All right. Sounds good.